the before. This linen spray, it smells so, 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 so good. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You can call me new if you didn't already know and I am like so excited for today's video. We are going shopping for some new bedding just to bring in the spring and summer warm vibes. I had a like caramel, chocolate, brown theme. I had a nice fall theme going for the fall and the winter and I'm changing out the bedding to fit more of the spring and summer vibe for my room. So we're gonna go out shopping. I'm looking for new sheets, not necessarily a comforter, some type of blanket and body pillow cover and, and a mattress topper or like something to kind of fluff up the bed. But not only that, I'm also giving you guys the details for the giveaway. It's my very first giveaway and I'm so excited. It's minuscule but it's huge to me this milestone of reaching a hundred subscribers i'm just so 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 thankful and grateful i'm so excited to see what this journey takes me so to commemorate that and to show my appreciation we are going to be doing a giveaway i will give you guys the rules the dates that is happening what you have to do and i'll let you know what the prize is so just keep watching Say the same damn thing Got niggas paying top dollar to dollar Talking about that pretty brown frame And I don't mean the Impala But it's just how proud of The one about your business you Must be religious God done took her time And you're tired of being no same boy A little bit too dark and it might actually be too hot even though I get more hot I get easily hot I get hotter than I get cold than this one but this one is really really warm I don't think that that will work so the one that I'm looking at because it's holy <laughs> and it's not super super thick so it's breathable but it's warm enough hmm. Yeah, I think I like that one. Look at this though. This is interesting. 12 pounds. Mm. <gasps> cool. My favorite face. How good. I didn't find nothing at Target, so. Well, I have a feeling I'm about to find nothing here. Definitely need four pillowcases, but that's a full. Where's that? No. I found a set that I like, but they plan. They got full, they got key. But no clue. Two tears, I came to know ya. Don't give a damn about the things I told ya. They don't have a clue, but they don't meet you like I do. You don't need champagne. You gotta be held tight and maintain. I wanna know everything about you. My I know my hair is probably looking a little cray cray, but that's 
okay. I just want to hurry up and unbox this stuff so I can change these sheets, change the vibe of the room to change with the season. We're going to unbox this Amazon. It's basically this exact sheet but a different color and these sheets are so nice. I had to run it back and get the same ones too. Amazon always makes it feel like it's Christmas. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so freaking pretty. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It is a light sage green color. And it is freaking gorgeous, sis. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for summer. I think it was one of my spring cleaning vlogs. I said that I want to change out the sheets and the comforters. And basically, I usually do like two, maybe three sheet sets because they're kind of pricey. Like, this is actually a nice, affordable price, but like sometimes they can be pricey. Um, and I'll like obviously like wash them in between and stuff like that. But the colors that I wanted to go for was this nice sage green and I think like a nice light gray and maybe a cream but this is a six piece set so it has the fitted sheet the flat sheet and four pillowcases because I got mad pillows on here oh my gosh they just feel so good cannot wait to wash them and put it on the bed That is such a pretty color, y'all. I can't. Okay. Anyways, we put this aside. Woo! This gigantic. Um, I don't even. Is it a throw? I'm gonna put like the label, like what Target called it, but it's so big. But it's also, if you can see, it's like a sweater material, but it's very holy. So it's breezy, so it's gonna keep you warm enough at night, but it's also gonna keep you cool enough because the material is super breathable. And that's exactly what I wanted for the summer. I didn't wanna have a comforter, but then to make the bed look even prettier, I found this quilt. What did they call it? They're calling it a throw, but it kinda looks like a quilt to me because I guess the pattern. But it's also pretty. It's soft and it's thick, but it's thin, if that makes any sense. But the colors were just perfect. To go with this and that. And then the cream color that I'm gonna get, the gray color. Oh, it's just gonna look so pretty. I wasn't gonna keep it because it was regularly, I think it was like $45 and then it was on clearance for $25. And I was trying to find a better price. I was really trying to cheap it out, but this it is a good price. I was just trying to find cheaper. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I can't find anything better. Then I got a, another body pillow to replace this fall color one that I got. And I'm really hoping, I, I looked at the reviews and it looked okay. I should have looked at this one, although this is okay. The style is gorgeous and the color, but oh look, my look God. It. it's honestly too big, even though this size pillow is supposed to fit this, it clearly doesn't. But when I looked at the reviews of this one, it fit better, so I'm excited about that. It's not the same color gray as this, and I think this is also, is it Casaluna? Yeah. No, oh, I'll say right there. Casaluna, Casaluna, Amazon. Target, Target, Amazon. It's the same brand, but maybe because of the material, hopefully it fits better. I need to get covers for these. Although the white is fine, I do kind of just want to change up the color there. And instead of getting new pillows, just get a cover. That's what I do for my seasonal decorations for my pillows in the living room. Just literally get another cover because this isn't an insert, so I can't take it out. Where's a freaking zipper anyway? It don't got I can't take it out, but I can cover it. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm just waiting on the mattress pad cover topper. It literally has all three names in there. I thought it was a topper. I asked my mom, she said it was a cover, then I thought it was a pad, but the way that Amazon described it is all three, and that's just to kind of fluff up the bed a little bit more because I'm not gonna have a comforter or a duvet or insert and stuff like that. It's, the bed is gonna kind of look flat. So hopefully what I'm getting is gonna make it look just a little bit more Okay y'all, so I'm back because I finally got 
my packages for the covers to cover these. There's two because I don't know what size to get because I accidentally didn't measure. 20 by 20 and 22 by 22. I'm gonna see how they fit and like I said, instead of getting new throw pillows, you literally can just buy a cover so that way you don't have to keep buying new pillows again and again and again. Just get a different cover. Ooh, it does not even say what size it is. So that's kind of annoying. Even on like the thing, it's no indication that this, the bigger one or the smaller one. Okay, now that's weird. It's the same seller. One's bigger, one's smaller, but they, they're in different packaging. One's a plastic tube, one's this, you know, that regular thing that they send stuff. But neither one of them say what size they are. I'm gonna wash them, but I need to just see if they fit first. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Y'all, oh, this looks like this might be the bigger one. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, actually, yeah, this is why too big. Let me see. Just gonna stuff it in here. But this might be a little too big. Um, I mean, it's actually mm. you're able to chop it because of that but I, w I just want to see if the other one's a little bit of a tighter fit because otherwise it's given it's given um, like extra skin from the same seller. Yeah, this is definitely the small one. So let's try that one. Now because this is smaller, I do have to squish this a little bit more and push it in more gently so I don't pop the zipper. Yeah, that's much better as far as the fit. I, I won't say tight, but it's literally just the right size. Or should I go with the one that's a little bit more looser? I can still chop it, so <laughs> why am I even asking? Yeah, let's go with the right size. So that's cool. And it's so soft, oh my gosh. But it's so pretty, this color is just... And now see, I got a, another pillow. Didn't have to buy one, just bought these covers. And it's such a nice color. Like, I really hope the camera is picking it up, but it's so pretty. So yeah, the bigger ones are going back. And I'm gonna send it in that tube because what? I'm gonna try to send it in that tube. I just have to wash it. And then we'll put this bed together, yay! Boop. So cute. All right, you're going back.
Yeah, this is so 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 I'm not really a what is this flat sheet kind of person. I feel like it's that extra step that's not really needed, but this probably doesn't make any sense, but for the summer, I think I want it. So that way if the blanket, the quilt that I'm using, if those are just a little bit too thick and I just want to be covered but not necessarily warm, then I'll use it. Otherwise, I usually just fold it and put it away <laughs> or use it for guests. So I usually take where the tag side is and I make sure that that's going to be at the top somewhere or the bottom, basically just on this side. I don't want it on this side, even though it's gonna be folded in. I cannot wait to get in this bed. This is so freaking pretty. I'm not even a green person and this green is giving. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. All the pills that I have is probably gonna stop about here. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space that I wanna need to get in it. I don't have to remove all the pillows and I can just kind of and I was gonna iron them, but I said, you know what, it's literally gonna be covered with the blanket, so it's fine with me. Now this, this I might actually iron, but I'm gonna do that later. I kind of like the wrinkled look just a little bit, not super wrinkled, but hopefully when I put it in, it stretches out a little bit and it'll give like that linen look. I like to go in tag first. So that way when I go to zip it up, it doesn't get stuck on the zipper. So the tag is going to be on the far side. So when I zip it, it's nice and clean. Okay, so... This is definitely fitting way better than that other one. I don't know why that one had so much extra flap. Like, it should have fit just fine, but this fits this perfectly. It's the same dimensions as that one, but again, maybe the material. So, and as far as the wrinkles, it, it's, it's not given linen, it's given, it's wrinkled. <laughs> so I'm probably going to um, steam, not steam cleaner, what do I want to say? Like, use a steamer to get the wrinkles out because I'm not about to take this off to iron it to put it back on. So my steamer will get the job done. I'll do that. But this is, this color is so pretty. Yeah, but it is not getting in at all. Just gonna move that there. I feel like this is crooked. Again, you're not gonna see it, so I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it be. Yeah, I love the blood. Yeah, we live together, yeah, day and night. Again, same thing, even though this doesn't have a zipper, I always like to go tag in. That's not a, a rule or a thing, but that's just something I like to do. My last pillow I always have a satin pillowcase on it and um, honestly I got these, I always get these from Dollar Tree. I never had a problem with them, they're super silky. The only issue I do have with them, so let me take that back, I have one issue with them and is that they, they snag pretty easily, like where is my other one? This was the older one, it's kind of hard to see but like the little, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but like the lines that you can see in there, that's from it snagging from like my nail or something. So it, it snags very easily, but I mean, it's a dollar or a dollar 25. So like, what do you expect? I don't expect much. Y'all, you know. I'm telling you, if you are somebody who has a lot of pillows on your bed and you want to change out the color whether it's for the season or just because, do not go out buying more and more pillows unless you just have storage galore. Get yourself a cover. Stick with the pillow that's good, that you like, and just get a new cover. 
like oh and I didn't even notice that so I saw this when I bought it and I like that because it's simple but it's something this was like a vlog I did like a while ago it was like my bathroom update or something but I, I love 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 simple but something like that's really kind of just my theme my attraction when it comes to designs simple but something the back bed like there's like just lines on it but they're going in opposite directions it's so cute but then if you don't want that you want it even more simplistic this is cute so you can either have it going vertically or turn it and going horizontal but that's so cool love it oh, baby, day. Because of my platform that I have my bed on, it's <laughs> it has like spacing in between, so it's kind of drooping a little bit. But I have a solution for that. So you could kind of see the pillowing from the mattress topper, which I like. Again, I just without it, the bed was just looking super super flat, and I mean it's still flat, but it still gives those curves a little bit. So that it looks more fluffy. This is not super, super long, but I kind of want to just drape it just a little bit and I want to, if it's even going to drape, it's literally not long enough, but that's okay. I think I want one more. In the middle. Do I want to do it at the end? Y'all. What y'all think? Middle? Or should I drape it over at the end? Because it's not super long. So it's the middle. Or down at the bottom. With a little bit. A little bit hanging off here. Or like this. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm gonna just put it maybe here. I like it. I like it and I like the denim jean color and pattern, but is it working with the bed? Is it necessary? I think because it's not long enough, that's bothering me and it, so it doesn't necessarily look right because it's not long enough. I think I'm just going to do it like a traditional throw and then just kind of have it. Do I want y'all sitting on top of it? Let me see. No. I mean... You know what? No. 
I'm gonna play around with the configuration. I think. Yeah, I definitely need to have another pillow right here, something circular. Because it's boxy, 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 boxy. Let's give it a little bit more curve. But it is, it's really not that serious. That's just me. You don't have to, but I want to. as far as I can but this can't go back anymore because I have other bins in here and I purposely got this platform bed because of how high it is. I love a high bed and how much storage it creates underneath there from the height. If you have limited storage like I do it works great for that. The only thing is because it's so high like I said you can kind of see everything underneath here. The fix for that is to get a bed skirt. I know you can attach a headboard and I'm going to touch on that too and I believe you can also like put this inside of a bed frame. I will double check that and I'll leave the information on the screen once I do a little bit more research on that. It's just it's been so long since I bought this and I never had intentions on is that a dog or is that my neighbor? I never had intentions on getting a bed frame and then back to the headboard. So because I don't have a headboard, I don't really like to have my pillows on the wall. I, so that's why I stack it up like this because it's just on the bed. I didn't really want a headboard. I, I like the, the headless day bed look. But I also have been like having like this, this pulling to honestly to just make over my entire room to just make it look completely different. And I'm like so torn because there's some things that that means I'm gonna have to get rid of that I really, really, really love. So I, I don't know. But one of the things I was thinking about adding is a headboard. So, and if I get a headboard, obviously I could change the pillows a little bit different. I could do it now. So yeah, yeah. So let me just do that and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna literally. Just flip them up. And now what do I want to do? Do I want to put this in front and lay that there? I still think I want these in the front because of the design. So I think I'm just going to push this up instead of having it laying flat. But I'm just going to tuck this in between. Try to push it down a little bit to kind of create the layers. these down a little bit. We'll lay them down, I should say. What do y'all think? Okay, so this is the before. My bed. I'm gonna pop a picture in here. <laughs> I'm laughing because like this actually just sounds fat as F like <laughs> the inspiration was my favorite chocolate candy because my favorite like candy candy is Swedish Fish. Um, I can't even never say that right. Anyways, but my favorite chocolate candy is a Reese's Cup and there is a cheesecake. I believe it's a cheesecake. It's either a cheesecake or a pizza cake. But anyways, and it's Reese's is the flavor and that was the inspiration and it came with like whipped cream on it so that was the inspiration for my winter themed bedding so now we're just going to switch it up for the springtime yeah once i have the bed skirt on here i feel like it'll look better especially and i add just one more pillow there i'm just so picky with the bed skirt i want it to be a certain color a certain style and the ones that i've found 
do not have good reviews so so one last thing that i have for you guys as far as bedding is this linen spray it smells so 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 good and i go ahead and i spray it on any of the blankets and these decorative pillows because i don't lay on this this is literally just for show and the body pillow sometimes because sometimes i do lay on that like not my face but i'll have literally like you know my body on it and the sheets i don't go crazy on the sheets or any of this stuff really because my skin be being extra sometimes so but i like to spray this just to elevate not just the look but the smell of the bedding it, the smell will obviously travel throughout the room so the whole room smells really good um, i don't spray it on any of these pillows although i don't lay on these still just in case you know if i'm laying on that and i'm like sleeping wild or whatever i don't want to like put my face on that with this that smells so freaking good like legit this smells like a really nice perfume but it's not perfume me it's very fresh very clean if this was a scent for your body i would i would wear this it just smells so nice and clean Mm. all right y'all so we are going to wrap this video up but before we do that we need to talk about the giveaway y'all i'm so excited again this is my first giveaway and i'm just like oh okay again just want to thank you guys so much for being here for watching for interacting for subscribing and wanting to participate in this giveaway so let's get into the rules and all the all the stuff and I did, I threw on my robe because it's, it's kind of getting cold, so, you know. Okay, so first things first, as far as the prize, the prize is going to be a $50 music gift card and also going to be, boom, is unopened brand new sheet set. The exact sheets that I have on my bed, just the brown color that I had for fall. That way it's kind of neutral. So if there is a male winner, you know, it's not like pink or something. I mean, if you like pink, that's fine too. But I feel like this is a nice neutral. So I had bought two of them. I thought I bought a separate color when I bought the other ones for the fall. Uh, I bought the same color. So I held on to it because I knew that I was going to be doing a giveaway. I just wasn't sure how I was going to be doing it. I figured, well, while I'm putting together my spring bedding, I can review that and throw it in as a prize so like i said these sheets are mm, so 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 good i love them and I'm, I'm really like happy that i i don't know why i didn't just think yo just buy the same sheets just different colors so i'm really happy about that so again it's a 50 dollars visa gift card and the sheet set and it's a queen size by the way i know some people were saying cash but I just, the way that, you know, this is gonna have to be mailed out, I don't think that that's a good idea to mail out cash. So it's gonna be a gift card. I was gonna do an Amazon or a Target gift card, but I figured just make it regular, regular, so that way if you wanna use it at Target or Amazon or the grocery store or on some gas, a bill, something, you can do that. As far as the timeline for the giveaway, it is going to be, it starts today, May 18, 2024 at 1 p.m. That is Eastern time. And it will go until May 25th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm just gonna go over the rules. I'm also gonna display it on the screen, but I'm also gonna have it in the description as well. And it's very, very, very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. The comment can be anything, but I thought, you know what, let me make this a little fun. Along with your comment, comment down below, how many pillows do I have on my bed? Let's see, do, do you remember, do you know, do you gotta play this back, that's fine. And then I'm also curious, how many pillows do you usually keep on your bed? Like, am I bugging for the number that I have or is that on par? I don't know, I, I, I'm a pillow girl, so just curious, how many pillows do I have and how many pillows do you have? You do not have to get that number right. It's just another way to make this kind of fun. So that's it, it's very simple. Just comment down below, like this video, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. 
And I also just wanted to say like when I'm saying that, I don't think anyone's like necessarily new to YouTube, but that word subscription sounds like you're paying for something, right? Cause you normally are, whether it's Netflix, but with YouTube, you are not paying. So when you're hitting subscribe, it's completely free. It doesn't cost you a thing at all. So when the timeline closes on May 25th, 2024 at 5 p.m., the winner is going to be randomly selected and I'm gonna update the description on this video with the winner. The winner, you will have one week to contact me to claim your prize. If you do not contact me, unfortunately, I will have to select another winner so pay attention and keep an eye out. A week from now, when the contest closes, take a look at this description again. And lastly, I do have to say this, this giveaway is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by YouTube. It is not sponsored by Amazon. It is not sponsored by Target. It is all me and I am responsible for running this giveaway, for selecting the winner and making sure that the prize gets to you. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. Whether or not you're entering in the giveaway or not, I still, I just thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys. Have a great night, day, week, whenever you are watching this. Hopefully it's in time for the giveaway and I will see you in the next one. Oh, can get enough of